Good evening guys, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to making Krimmel Pup 101 and that's in the microwave. Anyone will tell you that to make Krimmel Pup you will spend up to 2-3 to three hours at a stove top with a wooden spoon stirring literally your lungs out. I'm going to show you how to do this in 30 minutes flat, no I lie, 20 minutes and you'll do it in the microwave. You'll only stop it at the halfway point to give it a bit of a stir up and then you'll finish the process. So let's begin. I like to work on the one-on-one -on -one concept just to begin with. In other words, one cup of maize versus one cup of water. Let's see how this goes. In goes my one cup of maize. And my one cup of water. I really like to work this it's rather touchy feely. You gotta see how it is you want how you want your consistency. Modern is crumble puff, which is precisely how you want it. You want it rather crumbly. So unlike regular puff, you want the mixture a little bit drier. But at the same time though, that's not to say you want it bone dry. I haven't got enough water. So what you'll do is you'll keep mixing until you get the right consistency. I'll show you what the right consistency is as soon as I'm done with it over here. You can see don't be too concerned if it does look a little puppy. What will happen is that the microwave will eventually dry it out. And then through stirring and mashing at the halfway point, you'll get the desired criminal pup effect. Now one of the things that I like to do, this is a little thing, don't tell my mother I do this, which is precisely why I use hot water, is I like to use a dollop of butter. I think it just adds a little bit of richness. I might have used a little too much here, but it might be salty. It just adds to the richness and the texture of precisely what it is that you want to do. Also the hot water just gets it going. It doesn't mean that your microwave is going to spend the first 20 minutes just trying to heat up the water. So, as you can see, that's pretty much a consistency that you're looking for to get your criminal pup going. As you can see, this biomatic Swiss it. And it looks a little bit crumbly. Don't be worried if you add too much water. But the trick at the end of the day as well is not to oversaturate it, alright? There we go. Now a lot of people like salt in their food. I personally believe you can add salt afterwards. But if you want, oh, you can crush a little bit inside. Give it one last little mix. Put a lid on it, and it's ready to go in the microwave for at first 10 minutes. All right, now I've had it in the microwave for another six, uh, seven and a half minutes. I would actually make the suggestion that you keep checking it, even if it's every three to five minutes. Can I tell you why? There is one irritating thing, and that's when you overdo pup. Now I also said that you can rescue it. You can rescue it in the beginning process by adding a little bit of water. I overdid the edges a little bit, so what I did was, when I crumbed it, I just added a little bit of butter, and we seem to have come right. And remember, as much as you eat crumble pup dry, um, you can also have it with moss, you can have it with milk and sugar. In actual fact, let me show you how we're going to be preparing it. Had you listened to the breakfast show, you'd have known Andre likes it with a little bit of honey and butter. I'm doing Anna a flavor by adding a strawberry flavored milkshake to her pup. However, the one that I think is the winner is a little bit of ice cream. Obviously, you can choose whatever flavor you like. I'm very bland. I've gone with vanilla. And... But I mean, you can do anything here. You can do it, um, what you do is you bake it in the oven, you, 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 you lay it down, you put a little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, a lot of people put bacon inside and you bake it in the oven, it is absolutely stunning for a braai. Uh, some people have it with putu and pup, you can have it with spinach chakalaka, which is basically onion and tomato, and chopped up spinach with a little bit of garlic and salt, it is absolutely magnifique. Your applications are absolutely endless with pup, and now that you can make it in 20 minutes, voila, pup. On call. It's as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoy it. Keep it locked to the breakfast cup as we tell you how we like to have our criminal pup. Hey guys, welcome back. We've just finished the second half of our making of criminal pup and it's looking absolutely divine. Come check it out. Not to say. Doesn't that look like criminal pup? 
Obviously, I've been using a fork throughout the entire process, basically mashing it up like this and then breaking up those hard colicies. But I mean, it depends on how you like it. It depends on what you want to do. Um, I like mine in a bit of a finer texture, but I like some of these big balls as well. So, you know, how, how you break it up or how you apply it is completely up to you. But that is the final product. Excuse me, using my hands. Monoye can see me. No dits, it's criminal bus. Sometimes what happens is that you can overdo it. And I said you can rescue it a little earlier on. Yes, you can. In the beginning process, if you find that you've overdone it a little bit, just add a little bit of water. I overdid it by about a minute or two. What I did was I added a little bit of butter to the process. But I mean, once you've added moss, once you've added milk, uh, once you've added any kind of sauce accompaniment to it, it's going to take that up anyway. That's why I always say that pup is so forgiving. Now, you'll notice that my colleagues, Andre, for example, likes to have his with butter and honey. I'm going to treat Anna with a strawberry milkshake in hers. And I think the winner, without a doubt, is I'm going to be having my caramel pup with vanilla ice cream. Don't laugh. Remember, what we're trying to do here is we're, gonna, we're trying to come up with our own strawberries and cream. And I think this is actually going to be a winner. Let's now to the breakfast come to see which one wins.